actually uh, cap is actually built cap is a combination of a cds plus node js or cds plus java so the main functionality the main architecture okay of the service and everything that you would have to know from the caps perspective cds is something that you would be able to find in a cds um, section okay over here and here it is called cookbook anything and everything that you want to search you would be able to search for it so let's just say we were uh, talking of the deployment in the earlier session that if we are developing something then what are the deployment strategy so we are talking of some sort of ci cd pipelines so this is the ci cd pipeline in case of any sort of deployment in case of a reusing any sort of services that we are um, consuming from some sort of external provider what are the steps that we have to actually follow that is something we can see over here when it comes to authorization i am just uh, taking some sort of uh, random examples for now uh, because if i consider any application it depends definitely on its business case but if i consider an application from its skeleton perspective what does it contain it contains contains a set of data set of services it is providing around and the kind of people the role of the persons who is using that we have to ensure that unauthorized access to the service is not being done that comes and as a part of authorization we would have some sort of a modularization in any sort of service you consider any random language forget about cap anything you picked modularization some sort of media interface everything would be there okay and those all the thing which is which is very common across all the service would come as a part of the cookbook okay now uh, as we are working with node js let's just start with a node js or let's just consider node js over here so in the node js you would find multiple thing uh, let's just say cds service what all kind of service how it can be connected the authentication of that inbound remote service transaction considering what we are uh, planning to learn today the very next topic uh, is aspects right so let's just say i am very new i don't know how to work with aspects so what i'll do is on any sort of page or let's just say on home page as well you would find this uh, magnifying glass you would search for aspects the moment you search for it you would find all the component which are relevant to that so as you can see common type and aspects okay and what it is giving us it says there are certain common type already provided by sap which is as a part of at the rate sap cds common and what is the purpose cds ships a pre built model uh, cds common that provides a common type and aspects okay and why we have to use so it uh, allows us a concise and comprehensive model and here it allows us extensibility of our existing data model using aspect as well for example what we are now uh, jumping onto is a aspects so what is it so an aspect is a reusable component okay so many a time okay considering i am generating an entity or considering i am generating a service as a part of that i have an entity so what we did in the earlier session we were discussing some sort of a uh, employee right now in an employee entity i can have multiple information saying what is a name what is the department everything but for me to uniquely identify this employee so what would i need i would need a primary key perfect now this primary key by nature you can have anything you can have a primary key of an employee id that you can decide like in uh, sap we have a concept of a number range you can take a number range for an employee uh, and each time a num new number would be picked and that would be uni unique in itself but what sap gives is whatever number range or something that you are picking or let's just say whatever number that you are generating that you are planning to show to the user okay rather than that sap is uh, giving you some sort of primary key which would be generated based on your uh, location time 
okay and all the multiple component which would be unique in itself okay i can consider it as a uuid so we know okay in case uh, uuid is something which sap is suggesting i can go with a key id and data type i can give it as a uuid okay now i generated employee now i am going with some sort of another application let's just say for purchasing document here i am generating one more entity for purchasing document and here i am also in the need of a key i'll again write uuid like this let's just say i am going with a sales document i'll again do the same thing right because primary key is a very basic need which any applications any entity would need uh same goes with let's just say any sort of logging so let's just say i am uh, what is logging first so logging it means logging the user activity whatever the user is doing we want to log that the simplest of that is a creation of a new record uh another is let's just say change in any of the field of the record okay what we can call it is all 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 of this as a some sort of a uh, log creation log or a change log that's what we can consider it as of this is very important because in our all the application we would be showing who created this who changed this everything so what does it mean that whenever i do have a employee whenever i am creating an entry i should be able to store the created by i should be able to store uh, when actually this record was created and let's just say someone is changing it so i should be able to store the change on change by but is it only relevant to the employee no these are the technical component these are the technical property of a data this is how a more granular information regarding a technical record a technical data record you can store that is required irrespective of whatever business process you are working with whether you are working with mm sd fi um, co anywhere okay you would need that then what sap did is sap generated some sort of reuse component then rather than uh, rather than adding all those columns manually okay manually everywhere what if sap can provide us some sort of common reuse component so for example over here we have this and here uh, one of the component which sap is providing is cuid okay what it says is use cuid as a as a convenient shortcut to add a universally unique primary key to your entity definition perfect how can i add that if i do have an entity let's just say foo and if i want to add a key called id which is a data type u u u id universally unique primary key all i have to do is i have to just specify the name of entity a colon over here and the cu id so there is a name of aspect which sap has generated same goes with a let's just say managed okay same goes with managed so let's just say i do have an entity where i want to ensure that i want to log the name of the person who created this record the name of the person who is modifying this record now sap is working with cds and cds has a uh, very versatile libraries of annotations okay when i say annotation what is it annotations are nothing but something which is starting with at the rate okay so sap generated few columns whose values it is populating using annotation it is saying i would populate created by when i'll be populating that it is there is an this annotation at the rate cds is the namespace on insert so whenever a new insert of a new record is happening dollar user it means the current user who, whoever is there in the session his name should be logged over here the time at which he is log uh, creating the record should also be logged over here when i say change a creation of a new record is also changed that is why sap is saying 
whenever someone is creating on insert then also add that name afterward if some other person or the same person is coming over here and trying to do up any sort of update at the red cds on update also add the name of the current user or at the time at the time or let's just say timestamp full timestamp date and time when actually that particular activity is happening okay but this is the internal logic but at for our knowledge it's really good to know what is something which is going internally but as a developer all we have to take care of is along with the name of our entity all we have to add is a colon and the name of the aspect and it would be used for example if i just go over here okay we would be just adding it over here and then i guess it would be more uh, clear mm why it is okay so for example for example we have we do have this entity and what we did over here is we generated our id now who would be providing the id over here let's just say we created a data container we were able to add a new record but while adding a new record while adding a new record what we figured out is the id is something that we passed in the input but that's not the right way right i mean i can't ask my user to type in his employee id instead i should be generating it for the user okay what is happening i mean why it is slow just a minute guys okay, let me just change the browser Okay. Okay. So I guess once the workspace is uh, open and running, maybe we would just start with the coding. But meanwhile, any one of you has any questions till now? Why actually aspects come into picture? Uh, and regarding the documentation, documentation is something that the moment you start using it, you would start feeling more comfortable. But yeah, still, in case you have any question, you can feel free because I guess we the workspace would take some time to get open. Uh, Amanat, uh, so, sorry to uh, interrupt, but I guess there is some disturbance. I can't hear you clearly. Hello. Is that fine? Is yeah, it fine it's, now? Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Okay, these aspects, can we create our own or we need to use the standard one? Perfect. So, aspects are something that we can create our own as well. We can create. But today, we are going with how we can reuse. But aspects, uh, okay, let me just go and answer your that question as well. We can create that. So how SAP had created it? Okay, so there is some sort of keyword called aspect. So if you see, SAP has generated this aspect keyword. So the moment you write aspect and let's just say you want to generate an aspect, you write aspect and um, ABC and any sort of your column that you want to mention over here that would be generated and anytime whatever name let's just say code list is the name which sap is given sap has given same way whatever aspect name that you give over here you can use it in your entity it's a kind of an append structure uh, you can generate uh, with, uh, that can be used only for the local right so we cannot uh, use for the another service yeah so if you see uh in case of an SAP, what they are doing is they have delivered it as a part of a Node.js package. Okay, so if you see what is the place from where actually all those aspects we are using is being used. So it is coming from a at the rate SAP CDS. And what is this? No, no, this no. Is, I'm asking about if at all you are creating our own yeah. aspects. That should okay. be a local to us, that's, right? Yeah, that's what I'm answering. That's what I'm answering. That would be local for sure. Okay, to answer your first question, yeah, it would be local. How SAP's aspects are global because their aspect is coming as a part of a dependency. That's their aspect is coming as a part of a part of a Node.js package. Okay. Right. So their aspect is uh, okay. Why this workspace is slow? 
Okay. Okay, so if you see SAP has provided its uh, reusable component in either it SAP CDS and there is a dependency which is available over here in node modules and that is the reason it's globally accessible because in all our project we would be adding it as a dependency. If you can create our own open source library because Node.js is also a library and if you deploy it and publish it, okay, and then reuse it, then it would be usable, but I guess that would be a kind of very huge additional work to do. That's why people prefer creating an aspect specific to the project. Okay, okay. Okay. Now let me just open this. Now over here, uh, what we learned is whatever aspect that SAP has delivered are part of a component call uh, at the SAP CDS common. So if you want to use it, we want we would be doing using and it would propose us directly at the rate SAP CDS common because these are most commonly used. That's why SAP has given it in the autocomplete sections as well. Now what I want to use the moment you say control space, you would be able to find all the reusable components. So let's just say I want to use a CUID. I want to use the manage. I'll just save this. OK, and now how, how I want to use this. So our CUID's purpose is to generate a primary key. Name of the column would automatically be generated as a ID. So definitely the ID that we are using over here, we were using over here is currently not required. So I'll just comment this out. I'll just say a colon with the name of entity and the CUID. Okay. Just to ensure whatever is going in the background, it should also be visible to us. I'll just execute or let's just say I'll just put a watch on the change I am doing. So what I'll be doing, I'll be going on my project, which is a BTP BE employee, which was part of my projects folder. So I just write CD and the name of the uh, folder. I'll just say CDS watch. So it would keep on uh, watching whatever changes are going on. In case any service is already there, it would show me that. So if you see this service is running. Now I can just go to the my taste folder, open this taste.http. If I just click on this send. It would load the metadata. It's 200. It's meant it's a success one. Employee entity has an ID. OK, so it's an ID EDM GUID because the data type it is giving is a UUID. We have not added this column. Explicitly in our entity, we have commented it out, but the aspect that we just added implicitly generated this column. OK, same way, let's just say I am also interested in uh, what is the. Um, Timestamp or let's just say whatever the creation change log which are available. So for that I want to use one more aspect. You can use more than one aspects as well as a part of an entity. You have to all you have to do is provide all of them separated by comma after the column. So I can say CUID call uh, and comma manage. I'll just say save. And now if I just re-execute this. As you can see, I do have an ID. I do have this created by modified by in all four columns available with me. And here I can see name, email ID, department, all the four columns, which I all the three columns which I have added. So these are the four five columns which are coming there by default. It's not that something I added explicitly. It's just this aspect which is doing the trick over here. Now. What we are also interested in is uh, what are the existing data? For example, 